YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Concise the Barber. We're back with another concise review. And in this review, we will be talking about something completely different, something brand new to the barber industry. And it is by Bevel. It is their electric shaver. And y'all see this thing, so we definitely have to talk about this. So let's get into the unboxing and let's see what I have to say from there. CTB, you know who it is. All right, y'all, so y'all just seen the unboxing. So let's start with the price of this bevel shaver right now you can get it on bevel.com right now you can get on their website for 109.95 so it's basically just 110 dollars for this shaver and we're going to talk about the specs and we're going to talk about the design and the power and all that other jazz and just to be honest i think for bevel coming out with a shaver based at 110 is definitely a fair price definitely thought they were going to be up there if you know anything about bevel they have a two-on-one clipper and trimmer that's their newest product out and they also have have a bevel trimmer now both of these products are over $200 or more so for them to come out with the shaver and to just to make it $110 I'm definitely surprised about that because these guys are always innovative and creative when it comes to their barbering products so next thing we're gonna talk about is power and battery life now I'm not sure the power of the shaver but I will let you guys hear it I definitely feel that it has a nice hum to it and I don't know the RPMs. I can only guesstimate at this point. But matter of fact, let me get my phone and do an RPM test. All right, so when it comes to the RPMs, I definitely didn't think I was going to figure it out, but I did. So far, what it seems like the RPMs is around 8,500 RPMs. It's not around 10,000 RPMs like the JV Pro or the Rebel Shaver. You know, it is just under that at 8,500 RPMs. So that's what you got when it comes to the Bevel Shaver. Now, when it comes to the battery, life this is where i honestly feel that bevel always knocks it out the park and i'm really not sure if they have their stuff patent or something but when it comes to battery life clippers trimmers they always have the best longevity it seems like in their products so this is going to be interesting y'all the bevel shaver you put this thing on the charger just for five minutes you get a whole 50 minutes of a charge time that is crazy just being honest 50 minutes out of five minute charge time you get a 50 minute run time now if you let it charge for a whole hour you i don't even want to mess it up a one hour full charge provides up to three weeks worth of shaving three uno dos tres i'm supposed to do that back uno dos tres three weeks one hour i don't even know how to explain the runtime i really don't i can only tell you the usage time if you use it and you let it charge for five minutes you got another 50 minutes because i have no idea what three weeks worth of runtime you get really in the exact amount of hours from a one hour charge I can't really tell you. But just hearing that, I know y'all probably can really make a sound decision to say that this has a very long run time. So I definitely thought that was dope by Bevel. And I'm honestly not surprised. Their trimmers have about six hours up, you know? So yeah, they're at it again with their shaver. Now, the next thing we're gonna get into is the design, right? When it comes to the design, I will honestly have to say I was very, very intrigued by it when I first seen it. When I first seen it on the website, I was like, oh man, I, I gotta get this. I gotta see how this thing operates. I love how it has that middle piece in the middle it kind of reminds me of a research trimmer so i'm glad that it just didn't go straight double foil shave but they're always about sensitive skin sensitive care and everything like that so i can see why that bevel used that you know part of the shaver when it came to the design of it though when i seen it, i said oh this thing is gonna be crazy i honestly thought it would have had a little bit more weight than it does it is on the lighter end there's this area in the back it looks like it just has a like strong shoulders and it just sit up really strong <laughs> i don't even know how to explain it but it curves really really strong in the back and then it drops down just that angle in itself i definitely thought it ought to be dope to hold and the bevel of the uh, of the shaver of the foils it's really nice and loose and it seems like it would just contour with your face you know very very well also by the design i love the notification that you there's three dots battery indicator in the front love that it says bevel love that it's all black let's just get that out the way it does almost have that same feel and shape of the trimmers it does have a different like battery cord than the other one so they did switch that out hopefully it didn't come with a dock hopefully it does come with a dock i can't see them not adding that to their website soon but didn't come with a dock it just came with a wire and i will have to say when it comes to this design i've been trying to get to this point without missing anything as much as this is dope this is kind of like my only kind in a sense at the same time how i hold this shaver and i'm gonna tell you why and i'm gonna show you some clips once i get to the performance but when it comes to design i love everything about it just accept the part that it's to me and i'm being really really picky and critical you know but you understand the ergonomics of it 
you understand why I'm talking about the ergonomics of it once you put this in your hand. Now, there's multiple ways you can use this and hold this, but majority of us are gonna hold it a certain way when we're in a certain place of shaving. So that's why I say the design is dope, it looks amazing, it's great, it does feel great in my hand, but there are some things just about this design that kind of holds me back just a little bit when it comes to using a shaver. So let's just get straight into the performance of this thing, right? We already see that it has a great battery life. We know that it's not just a double foil. It is great for people with sensitive skin. And honestly, when I turned this bad boy on and I started using it on my client, this kind of reminded me of the Bronze Series 7s and 9s. The way how they cut is very light, it's very smooth, it's very gentle, but it's still working at the same time. It's not overly loud like some shavers, which is okay because they have a higher RPM. Now, it works and it works well, but I can't say it helps speed up your time. I can honestly say it's not gonna speed up your time when it comes to getting people in and out. This is not a shaver that's gonna speed up your time. If anything, they're caring more about the sensitivity of your client's skin that if you wanna use a shaver and a great shaver at that is not gonna give your client razor bumps and I guarantee you, your clients will probably care more about getting razor bumps rather than how fast you're going. So these, I can honestly say, are one of the most smoothest and sensitive shavers that I have used. I honestly used it on myself and I did not get no razor razor bumps. And I can't really tell y'all how many times that has happened that I didn't receive no razor bumps. Like I have none when I use this. So they definitely got that down packed on let's make something that's not going to jack people up when they use it. Now, here's like a pro con-ish in a sense, you know, whatever like that. I honestly feel like this bevel shaver is personal, also barber related. But I will say if you are going to use it, this is just me. If you're going to use it and also use it on your clients, I would get two, me personally. I would get two of these and then rock with it because I don't know, that's just me. The thing is about it, uh, when you're using this shaver, it, this is how it comes apart. Y'all see that? This is how it comes apart. So you can't take the foil shavers off. Let me show you what I mean. So in the end of research, you're able to take the top off. You see that? And you can clean out these foils. Then you can clean this piece of it. You can clean it separately. You can sanitize it very well. Same thing with this. With the bevel shaver, you can't do that. However, there is a certain way you can do it. If you have some, the end is cool care uh, liquid, you flip this bad boy upside down, you let it sit in the water, you run it, it's gonna work. That's perfectly fine. I'm not saying that like you can't use this in a shop. You could definitely use this in a shop. Me personally, you just gotta be clean. I pray you're clean with everything, but this is a little bit more of a job to keep clean other than the one I just showed you. So that's my only thing about when it comes to this bevel shaver that, you know, extra step or an extra process that you might have to do. Now, let me get to this part because I told you about the design. When it comes to using this shaver, especially under the neck, it's not like you can hold it like this. And if this is like under, I'm doing a bad job at this. Let's say this is somebody's chin and this is their neck. It's not like you can hold it like this and come up this way. It feels really, really funny. Most of the times you can come up this way, it might feel funny, but you might have a problem with this back area and like their chin. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about once you get it, but it wasn't just the easiest to use when I was using it on my clients when it came to the bottom of the neck. Everywhere else was basically fine. That was just one area that I did find that I had to tweak how I held this shaver to get everything under the neck. So that's what I think about this shaver. That's the performance part of it. So when it comes to my concise review, is this a shaver that will stay on my stage? or not. Honestly, since the fact it does so well with sensitive skin, this is something that I will keep on my station. Do I feel like this shaver is a necessity? No, I don't think that it's a necessity at all, but it is another option for those that care about having tools that really focus on your client's sensitive skin or even just your own. Me personally, I will honestly get two of these and have one at home. Knowing that I have sensitive skin, this is not just for barbers. I honestly feel like people, even at home, if you're looking for a shaver, this is definitely great for personal use, hands down. It's good for barbers, but great for personal use, great at home. But that's what I would do if I was y'all. It is good for a barber, definitely could be on your station. Great for any of your clients that have really sensitive skin. It really shaves smooth and you would not have any, you know, any problems. Anybody that I use this on, they said this is one of the smoothest ones they had felt before. So it's just gonna take a little bit extra cleaning. That's all y'all, just keep up with y'all cleaning anyway. But yeah, that's my concise review, y'all. I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you, Bevel for making this product. Thank you for the battery life that I never have to worry about because that's what y'all just do with y'all products. But uh, yeah, man, that's... <laughs> 
that's the video. I appreciate y'all. And uh, probably at this point, we probably either be close to 5K or just past 5K. So I will be doing a giveaway video. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And if y'all want to see any more videos like this, make sure you guys click right here and see my other concise reviews. Y'all be blessed. CTB. You know who it is.